Walk a flock of flame. Would you take steroids if you knew they weren't gonna shrink your nuts? I don't wanna take steroids. I'm cool. Steroids is just not, it's not the move. Bro. But you're a thick boy. Is that okay to say? Pause. It's okay to say if I say pause? Not in my world. How do I talk about a friend who happens to have a thick body, but I don't wanna say he's thick? What do I say? You gain weight, bud. Hey, you gain weight. Yeah, I would prefer for him not to call me thick. Kind of got to be thick. But Glenny's thick. For someone else to call you thick, you know? I don't want to. Nah. I, I don't want to say Glenny Balls is thick, but Glenny Balls is thick. That's a fact. But like, he can't say it. I would never say it. Someone else could say it. I got it. Come on. What do we do? We just change the subject. Mm-hmm. You've ratted before, haven't you? Me? Right? Oh, I could never do that. You said the following in public, and I quote, I got a main bitch, I got a mistress, and a couple girlfriends, I'm so hood rich. You ratted on yourself, didn't you? No, that was just like a figure of speech. Yeah, but what did your main bitch think about that? I ain't never have a main bitch, I only have a one girl. All right, let's just change the subject, man. Like... You ratted on yourself. I did. That's okay, but there's a time for everything, isn't there? Nah, never for writing, man. Nah. Are you a romantic? Am I romantic? For the last two, three years of my life, I've been romantic. Yes, I've been swabbed out. You believe in lifelong monogamy? I've been, I believe in uh, long life monogamy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what's that mean? That means you go live long in monogamy. Mm -hmm. Monogamized. Monogamy. Mm -hmm. uh, monographer. Are you a monographer? I'm a monogamy not. You're not a monographer. What is it? Monogamy? Yeah. Being with one person for the rest of your life. What do they mean? Like being in a relationship? Yeah. Married. Are you a boob guy or a tit guy? I'm an areola guy. But yeah. Do you believe that butt cheeks are the boob of the back? You know, technically, I look at the cheeks like an entrance of heaven to the back gate. Do you think that the 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 true G's of Earth will get to go into heaven through the back? That's got to happen. Well, when you're sucking a boob, I'm, I don't suck boobs, by the way. So I won't even ask the rest of that question. Yeah, I don't suck boobs, man. Why not? Oh, just oh, I don't know. I'm just I'm afraid to answer. Let's move away from boobs for a second. Pepperonis or pancakes? Which do you prefer? Fuck you for that. Hmm. Damn. I can't choose. I can't. Actually, let's go back to boobs for a second. No, Are no. nipples technically straws? What kind of straw? A straw for milk. I drink coconut almond milk, man. Yeah. Last segment. I do this with all my guests. Let's go. It's the last thing we ever do. Uh, it's, this segment is called Skeletons in My Closet. And basically, we're going to give you an opportunity, a platform, to talk about some things that you've done in your past that basically you've been hiding from everybody and no one's found out about, but they're weighing on you. And you can get them out and let people know, you know, I did some bad stuff. I've never said this before. It might be illegal, but I want it out. I'm going to give you the opportunity now. All right. I wanted to know how to feel to be a crackhead, right? So one day, I smoked crack mm -hmm. with a homeless cop. Yeah. And I ended up in jail. He was on the cover cop. I just want to get that out before it probably come out. And that's why we do this segment. It's always a good opportunity. It's always good. Thanks, Walter Thank Fogg. I appreciate it, man.